Show, the Gucci Show, the Gucci Show, Divorce Dad, Single Dad, Divorce Dad, Single Dad. Oh, yeah. Afternoon Peter G. Show. That's like afternoon delight. Believe me, believe you. I got better things to do than be calling up AT&T and bitching. But believe me, believe you. That's what I'm going to do. Because I'm doing this not only for myself. I'm doing this for you guys as well. Thursday, 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 I promised you I was going to call again, and I'm calling again. I'm not going to get as explicit this time, because I've been doing that so many times now. If you don't get the picture, then you got to listen some more, but what can I say? Anyway, Thursday afternoon, I'm calling AT&T, because they are pissing me off more. This will be my third call to them publicly, my eighth call to them in general, and it's been going on over f- almost five months. It's just over, f- just getting to hit five months. So I'm calling them again. Again. And I won't stop until we finish. And I'm doing this for you guys as well. Because I want to make sure that you guys know that it just doesn't happen to you. If it could happen to me, it happens to everybody else. And how many countless hours I've spent bitching with AT&T. Right now I'm logging about almost 15 hours of talk time with AT&T. Hey baby. Oh yeah. We're here. I have uh, it's a beautiful day out in southern sunny California. But I had to take it indoors and go do it all over again. So I hope you'll stick with me and join me and stay here. Fight the good fight. Cuz unlike most people, I'm not going to get over it. Anyway, Yeah. So let me get the phone number. I'm going to start right away. I've already told the story. You want to hear it some more? Go back to the other ones. I had a couple of people get a little bit pissed off the other day, and they're going, you know what? Why are you doing this? You're on the, you know, your show is, like last uh, Monday, Monday I did this special edition, Peter G. Show. I, uh... Yeah, you're right, buddy. They only care about new customers. You know what the the, the funny thing is? It's like, I'm bitching at them, and, and complaining, and they're looking, and after all that, they're going, well, yeah, we understand, sir, but, uh, you know, we really would like to have you back. What will it take to get you, can we get you back? I'm going, clear my friggin' bill. Clear my bill first, then we'll talk about it. As if, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, big money in the house. My buddy, Big Money Marv, he's my social advisor. My spiritual advisor, my common sense, my left-hand man who keeps me grounded, my gatekeeper, my clock watcher. Anyway, good to have you there, uh, Marv. I know you're a busy man, putting up time for a little old me. But it's time to not get over it, okay? So we're going to call. I don't know, I'm kind of digging the music first. Let's just get in the mood before I start getting all pissed off. Happy birthday to you, Marianne. Oh, yeah. Daytime. Everybody's up in the daytime. (laughs) I can't get anybody to stay up at night when I do my real show. But special edition, Peter G. Peter G calls AT&T live and bitches. It's crazy. Anyway, okay. Oh, yeah. So this is the case. I know it's your birthday. Special edition birthday show. Peter G calls AT&T for Marianne and for the rest of the world. Okay, let's do this. I want to uh, get it over with. I'm going to dial the number. Why does my mic sound so thin today? Is it my ears? Ah, a little bit more breezy, free-flowing Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, p- push the in-ears in a little bit better, and it sounds better, doesn't it? More low end. You'll never find. Okay. So I'm going to call them. Let's get the number dialing here. Uh-huh. 
I'm sick of it. I want to finish this. I really want to say they're finally going to. They, they told me that the, the resolution for this whole pro, you know problem is going to be resolved. It should have been a couple of days ago, and I gave them a couple of days just so I can do put them on the air live again. Let's go through this. Last Monday when I called, I talked to. Uh, how many people did I talk to? I talked to Angela with no luck. She sent me over to Consumer Collections with Sydney, who, uh, oh no, first they sent me to Ashley. She was with business management or something like that. No help. Then she transfers me to Sydney. Then I went to Jason, and it was four strikes, I'm out. An hour and 50 minutes on the phone. Okay? The typical bullshit. But with that being said, let's uh, let's get this phone call a rolling, huh? Loud. Oh yeah. Welcome to AT and T. Yeah, welcome yourself. Para español, o prima el ocho. Sí. Uh, Calls recorded for quality. Yeah. Are you calling about the account associated with the number eight five zero four? Yes. How can I help you today? Claim resolution. I just said it wrong. One second, please. Yeah, you sound serious. It was, it was case resolution. Claim case. It's a freaking computer. How can I help you with your bill? Case resolution. You can zero the fucking thing out. That's what you can do. Oops. Are you calling about your mobile phone, internet, TV, or phone line? Mobile phone. They make like they're typing. I love it. Hmm. One moment while we connect you with a customer service professional. Of course. And now you go, all you guys are going to start screaming at me. Go above their heads. Go to the supervisor. It don't matter. I'm telling you. I love it. It's like you guys are screaming at the TV like you're watching a football game. Let's see who we're going to have here. Thank you for calling at and My name is Carlos. I have the pleasure of speaking with you. Hey, Carlos. My name is Peter. I'm calling uh, about an account that I have a case number that's been working for almost five months now. And today was uh, a couple of days ago should have been the day that everything should have been resolved. Uh, and I was hoping you could help me. I can help with this, um, Peter. And let me get your uh, mobile telephone number to start off. Sure, hang on. And and just so you know, I'm also recording the call live for quality and assurance purposes too. Just so you know, okay? All right. All right. Awesome. Okay. So the number that I'm calling about is area code. All right. Thank you. No problem. Where am I calling to today? El Salvador, sir. El- <laughs> all right. Awesome. <laughs> right down the street. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, can we try that number once again, Peter? Because I didn't get no results, sir. Well, it's it's not an active line. Okay. The, the, uh, what about, do you have an, uh, an account number, sir? I, uh, oh, boy. I have a case number. Mm, no, I would definitely need the, the account. I need to open up the account, and that way I can have access well, to the case. Okay, well, the the account was closed, uh, so let me see if I can dig. Uh, let me let's try this account number, okay? All right. Let's see if it's still if because I believe they gave this to me three months ago. Three. Okay. Uh, I said three three seven one four zero zero six eight two two zero. I believe. Two two zero. So I got three three seven one four zero zero six. Eight two two zero. Is that correct, sir? Sure. All right, let me go ahead and um, try this, see if I get, um, it's Peter, got some of your information here. Give me just a moment. Oh, well, then you're it's on the road. It's a closed account, right? Exactly. Okay. Do you remember uh, your, your passcode, Peter? I do. You ready? Can I have it, please? Sure. Yes. Thank you. Also, do want to thank you. We do appreciate your business here at AT T. Peter. Give me just a moment. I'm accessing some of your information here, and um, it's been an ongoing issue for quite some time now, Peter. Since April. 
since April. Yeah. Uh, do you remember, uh, well, uh, can I ask you what the case was, um, what was it created, what was the reason for, sir? The, the reason was I got a, I was taking a cell, a landline number, and I wanted to put it onto a cell phone. Okay. Uh, the gentleman who sold me the plan oversold me. I was very specific. I just wanted it for a very short time to monitor the old landline number, and then I, I, I would decide later down the road, after about six months, whether I want to keep the phone or and the number or not. But I said, I also, I need, a, I need a phone to go with it. I don't care if it's a flip phone or this and that. He says, no problem, Peter. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll get you an iPhone 6S. How's that? I'm figuring, right. okay, it's kind of fancy, but it's old, so maybe they're trying to get rid of them. No big deal. Upon, right. the, upon the phone being mailed to me in Los Angeles, I get the phone, I open it up, I start to activate it. I'm having trouble activating it. I call you guys to walk me through it. When we walk through it, I said, just for the hell of it, let's go over my plan one more time. So the woman begins to tell me that the plan was uh, I will be billed $15 a month, but every month it will be subtracted $15 as well for the full 30 months of the plan. And the minute she said right. the full 30 months of the plan, I said, whoa, whoa, back it up. I did not ask for a 30-month plan. I was very clear and specific with the kid, and I believed him that he was confident when he was talking to me. But he just threw in that phone and threw me under the bus and sold me that plan. So she says, here's what we can do, Peter. Mail me back the phone within 14 days, and we'll just, you, you know, you won't have to pay for the phone, and we'll just figure something else out, get you on a different plan somehow or another, whatever. But you need to get that phone back. So I immediately, within the day I got the phone, email, uh, sent the phone back with your own return label, and it went back to you guys. The, all these notes, if you can read the notes, there's miles of them. You guys have the phone. But yet, I'm still getting billed for it, and I've been turned into collections. And nobody can answer me why we're still doing this. So the case should have been resolved two days ago, again, for the fourth time. The fourth time, okay. Yeah, it's really crazy. And I'm, I'm just, that's why I'm just, I've just had it, you know, it's just enough since April. Did I've, do you know how much the charges are, are, Peter? Well, the charges were five hundred and seventy something dollars, but somehow or another, I mean, they've already mailed me back the check that, that when I got the phone, I had to I had to pay for the uh, tax up front. They've already reimbursed right. me. They already reimbursed me for the tax. So I mean, they clearly admit that they have the phone. I should be at zero balance, but I'm not. Now, the last person I talked to on Monday, I talked to four different people, but I think the the bill was for four hundred and something dollars now. Okay. All right. I got give me just a moment. Yeah, yeah you want let, to me, let, me, let me go ahead. No, uh, I, I, I can access the case. Give okay. me just a moment. Let me, let me review his, um, your account information, see if I can find anything different, okay? Sure, go for it. All right, thank you. And there you have it. Now they'll review everything, and then we'll see what's going to happen again. It's Groundhog's Day number eight. This is phone call number eight to AT&T since... The since uh, since May, this is public recorded phone call number three. So you guys can understand, and I'm sure many of you do, on the kind of shit you got to go through for nothing. Hey, did I tell you guys to start a watch party? You should hit the share button, and you should uh, when you hit the share button, you should just say start a watch party. I think that would be awesome. Let's see what we got here. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm just going live. Hey, I'm digging myself right now. I'm going to start a watch party because I believe. Where is it? I said share. All right, I just started a watch party. I'm going to share it with all my friends because I believe my friends need to see this. And again... For uh, those of you watching patiently, I appreciate it. And for those of you who start screaming at the TV like a football game, I appreciate it. I've gotten many, many suggestions of what I should and should not do. And believe me, prior to these public... Thank you, thank yeah. you for holding, Peter. Sure. Hey, Peter, um, I, I see that there was a dispute for the amount of $449.99. Is oh, that correct, sir? No, that should be about correct. I, all I care about is that my balance is zero. I don't care if I owed a million dollars or three dollars. I shouldn't owe anything. That's all. Okay. As far as the credit adjustment for that amount, it has been submitted. It was actually submitted about a couple of days ago on the 19th, sir. The 19th? Uh, it should have been submitted. It was submitted on October 6th. 
and then I called again on the 13th, and and then on the 19th again, and they told me on the 19th that it was still pending and it should be over with within a day. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm looking at it right now. The latest adjustment says uh, August 19th of 2019 for the amount of $449.99. Right. And that that has done, but there is a balance, a remaining balance of eighty three dollars and thirty cents, Peter. What do you mean? They they adjusted, and now I'm down to a balance of eighty three dollars. Yes, apparently that is the that is that's the amount that is showing. What, okay, so what is the eighty three dollars for? Give me a moment. And the T- thing is, since it's a closed account, I'm limited to actually viewing some I'm of f- this information. Well, here. Th- well, then we might have to. I mean, I-, I appreciate you, but we might have to go somewhere where somebody can unlimit the amount of access. Because again, I need to be at zero. I'm really getting tired calling. Not your fault, brother, but I'm done. Right, right. No, I do. I, I understand. Give me just a moment here, sir. We're waiting for another response from AT&T. Meantime, I'm digging. Just want to just, wa- just want to refresh your call, Peter. I'm still looking into this. Okay, sir. Yeah, that's cool. I'm right here, just listening to some music, trying to stay cool. All right, all right. Thank you. Trying to stay cool. Oh yeah, smooth grooves with Peter G. Every Sunday night, I want everybody to tune into my regular show every Sunday night. The reason I'm hiding behind the microphone is because I don't want to talk real loud. Every Sunday night, Life with Peter G. Call up and bitch about stuff. Let things go. Talk about your life, your job, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kids, the dog. The dog shits all over the carpet, but I can't get rid of the dog because my wife loves the dog. (laughs) Ah, boy. Life's a bitch, but it's what makes you better. Every Sunday night, Pacific Time. 8.30, 10.30 on the Central Coast, and 11.30 East Coast every Sunday night. I'm going to be here for one hour taking your calls, always, and then some. I've been going over lately because we've had stuff to talk about. I do need your help, though. I wish all you guys, if you're watching me, you hit the share button and start a watch party every time you're watching me. Watch party. It's very important. Shares, it goes out with all your friends and says, hey... Big Money Marv's watching the Peter G. Show, and they're going, hey, why is Big Money Marv watching the Peter G. Show? It must be something cool. For some, it is. For some, they may not give a damn, but you never know. You never know who you might be helping. Your stories are stories that other people need to hear because they have no idea how close in relation it is to them as well. And you have no idea who you could be helping just by talking about stuff. Just why I'm doing this. We're talking about this, and we're making sure it goes out to you guys because I know you can relate. And that's why I'm doing it. 
beautiful day. I should be out doing something. Lord knows I got the time. <laughs> Actually, I don't. If you only knew. Speaking of that, I'm calling you after this show, Big Money Marv. So watch out. You're getting a person to person. I need this resolved, though. I need this over with. I really do. I'm waiting on my customer service representative to read 9 million miles of notes to tell me that there's not much he can do. Then I got to go talk to somebody else again. I don't want to bill for 20 cents. It's not like I'm looking for something for nothing. It's just I do not owe them any money. Needs to stop. Zero. Zero. Does that picture look like me? Oh, well. Start a watch party. Hit that share button. I'm telling you, please, if you care, caring is sharing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the music. It fills in the gaps. It's just not dry air. And uh, it, it helps keep me a little bit calmer. I should play death metal. <laughs> then I'll be screaming all over the place. Be a friggin' retard. I don't think you want to see that. It's not pretty. Oh, man. I didn't even start it. Start. I'm behind. My apologies. See, I hit. it says start a watch party, but then it says start a watch party again. You got to hit the button. Finally, I just started a little behind. Too much going on. But for you guys who are doing nothing but just watching, you hit the share. It says start a watch party. You hit that button and it says no, really hit this button and really start a watch party. Where'd my guy go? I think I lost him. We've been on the phone for almost 17 minutes. So far, so good. Let's see if I can keep this call. I like to keep this call as short as possible. Last uh, Monday when I called them, it was just too much. And, you know, I had a person or two bitching about it, but yet they watched it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well, yeah, I want you to feel the pain. Because it's not just me I'm sharing this. I'm not. Ed oh. Thank you for holding, Peter. Sure, man. What's up? Uh, all right, Peter. I was trying to access the information. Okay, the remaining amount is at eighty-three dollars. I was trying to find out and get uh, information as far as detail. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, it's only giving me the statement, but it's not breaking down the statement. It's only giving me the actual charge, and the reason why it's because it's on collections already. Right, and I don't like that. Yeah, and 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 right now, in in order for them to break it down, look. To be honest. The remaining amount, eighty-three dollars. One of them, one of the, the the charges that I, you know, from my experience, uh, that might be on those eighty-three dollars. I can't go ahead and guarantee. I mean, uh, specify details because it's not showing me. But most likely, one of those charges might be a restocking fee of forty-five dollars, maybe some late fee charges as well as that. And that's pretty much what I mean. I can't verify it though I because understand. I'm not able to see it. I um, now, I can get you over to financial. Financial will be able to go over detail by detail exactly what that remaining charge is, sir. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, because, again, it's not even about the money. It's it's just the principle. I, I've gone. This has been ongoing. They've turned me into collections, and, and I don't understand how, how simple of a process. I got the phone. I returned you the phone immediately. You guys said I had the, that you had the phone, and yet here we are right. five months down the road, and I'm in collections. I mean, that's kind of screwed, don't you think? It is messed up. I understand, and I apologize That's for that. That's not for you, brother. I mean, it ain't you. But, uh, but you know, unfortunately, you work for a company that it's gotten so complicated to do some of the simplest things, and here I am on hour 17 of phone calls. Right, right. right. So send me over to wherever you got to send me. What was your name again? I apologize. My name is Carlos. Carlos. Sir. I shouldn't forget that. This is, uh, all right, Carlos. Look, I appreciate it, but you're going to have no to problem. send me to somebody bigger and who has more authority because I'm, i I got to get this over with. I'm just I'm burning out. All right. Just hang tight, Peter. I'm going to get you over to uh, to the financial department. That way they can give you further assistance, okay, sir? All right. Thank you so much. You have a great day. All right. You too, sir. Bye -bye. Stay on the line. I'm on. And there we are. We're going to go to caller number two. Oh, this is like call music. 
Kroll, Hallmark, and Discovery. All at no extra cost. Well, oh, oh, that's them, but I'm More putting music behind thing. it. That's our thing. Three minutes to a service to representative. I'm starting to dig this. I'm almost... Might start drinking early today. This is Shula at and My name is Marquita. May I have your first and last name, please? Hi, Marquita. My name is Peter Gisellis. And uh, I need a breakdown of why I, I've been in dispute over some money on a phone that I returned many, many months ago. And I think we're finally starting to wipe out the bill after eight phone calls and four and a half months. But I'm down to an 80, $83 balance. I was hoping you could help me figure out why I'm still not owing you guys money, which I shouldn't. Okay. Sure. May I please have the um, phone number associated with the account? Sure. Hang on one second. That number is... Give me one moment. Sure. All right, and may I please have the account passcode? Sure. That passcode is... Thank you. Give mm-hmm. me one moment while I access the account. That's fine. Where am I calling to today? Um, so you're calling into the Collections and Finance Department. I know. What part of the world? Oh, you're calling into Minnesota. Okay, so we just went from El Salvador to Minnesota. Awesome. <laughs> so close. I know. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Walking distance, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Or maybe maybe take the bus. Yeah, I think it's walking distance. Okay, so yeah, you're a, t- you're a tough girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I do see that there is a balance on the account for $83.30, and also the account is canceled. Mm-hmm. Um, let me take a look over some account notes here and um, see what's going on here, okay? Sure, take your time. I'm gonna just hear, yep, you're just going to hear a bit of silence for me, but I'm just, um, you know, looking over the notes and seeing what's happening. No problem. My sign's falling apart. Guys, gotta do a better job. It was a quick throw and go. Let's get some music going. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. For those of you just joining, we're still on the phone with at and I'm trying to finish up this five-month ongoing battle of clearing out my, my so-called debt to them, which I had no debt. I just returned a phone and they never credited me for it. And then they claimed I owed them the money, even though they said they had the phone. Reminder. Don't forget to hit the share button. Hit the share button and start a watch party. Share this so other people can see the crap you got to go through. Almost five months, people. Five months. And they turned me into collections, too, on top of it. And what am I supposed to do? You got me bent over a table. Oh, okay. Um, so, Mr. Um, Peter. Peter, what I'll have to do, yep, I'll have to go ahead and um, get one of my customer service from our loyalty department up on the line and see if they can look into this for me. Um, so give me just a second, okay? That's okay. I'm going to be right That's here. Me. I really would uh, like to finish it today. All right, sure. I'll, I'll assure you that we'll try to get the resolution today, okay? Thank you. Okay, now we're going to go to person number three. I got Marquita in Minnesota. Prior to that, and he was nice. I talked to Carlos in El Salvador. Go figure. Right down the street. Favorite shows and movies, live or on demand, I forgot at to home tell her. or on the go, anytime, anywhere. Talk to us about our premium entertainment offers or go to att.com slash direct TV mm-hmm. for details. 
Mm-mm. Every Sunday night, I do the real show. That's where I really want you. Ready to buy, I'm, upgrade, or add a new device? I'm not going to make a habit of this. I don't want to keep being a freedom fighter. Smartphone. It's too much or work. Go to <laughs> wireless oh, and boy. Yourself, giving you more for your upgrade thing. That's our thing. Judd McElvain fighting for you. Or Larry H. Parker. We want to do more than say thanks. Anyway, this is what it takes. For people who have a job and have to go to work for a living and have to stay on the phone all this time, how do you do it? How do you do it? And no, I won't get over it. Compatible devices required. Data charges may apply for app download and new Get the app and start enjoying your benefits today. I just, I just don't feel after all this hassle. I don't care if there is a restocking fee. I should not have had to go on this distance. Five months, and been turned into collections for such a high price. Perhaps if they had sent me a bill and said, "Hey, you owe forty-five dollars to restock the phone," I go, "All right, you know what?" I still would have been pissed because, again, I was sold the wrong plan anyway. It wasn't me. I did not make a, a mistake on my end. I was real clear. But this is how it goes. Now I gotta. Get the device and get support twenty four seven. Now I gotta negotiate. Search for my AT and T in your phone's app store and download it today, or just go to att dot com slash my att app. Today you is August twenty second. Get your registration online. Data and messaging rates may apply. So far, I've talked to two people. Getting ready to talk to three. Oh, yeah. I, I want to thank all you people who are putting up and watching. Because this could happen to you if it probably already hasn't. Whether it's AT&T, Verizon, any big giant major corporation. They can do whatever they want and drag you through the mud. And then you have to spend countless hours, such as I am, trying to straighten this all out at my expense. They're getting paid to be on the phone. Oh, boy. You recommended solutions. Access how to videos and find easy to use tools to right. fix it now. Just, Go just, to I just want my balance zeroed out. I don't want anything else. Your account. I think I'm kind of done. I tell you, start a watch party. Every, just hit share. Then when you hit the share button, it says look down on and scroll down. It says start a watch party, and then another mind just thing will pop up. Easier. Then you hit Introducing actually start a watch party, and you hit the red family. button, and it's like boom. Our new app lets you take your family safety boom. to the next level. Bam. Know where your kids are. Manage their screen time. I know time. where my kids are. What they access online. Do you know where your Go kids are? I'm all about details. the kids. We'll talk about that another time, though. That's a Sunday night topic. Right now, I'm bitching with AT and T. Not like the good bitching. I'm doing it calmly. Don't just find a TV. Direct TV. Mm-mm-mm. Watch your favorite shows and movies. I'm not watching nothing. Demand. I want you to watch me. On the go, anytime, anywhere. When they start watching me, I'll start watching Peter? them. Yes, ma'am. Peter? Yes, ma'am. Um, I am on the line. Yep, I am on the line with one of the customer service representatives. What is your password again? Uh, my, my thing is... Uh... Okay, thank you. Did she just hang up? Oh my gosh, she just, the friggin' line just hung up. <sighs> now I'm going to start to lose it. Okay, thank you. Click. You know what that means, folks? Oh, now I'm going to really start using harsh language. Take a breather, Peter. Let's take it all in before I call him up again, because now I'll be starting over again. I wish there was whiskey in this, but it's not. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Oh, she had somebody else on the line. Okay, thank you, Peter. And they clicked and got lost me. Now I'm going to start to... This is where my, my now my blood pressure starts going up a little bit. I hate this. There we go again. Let's call them again. Now i got to start from the friggin' beginning again. And it will, it will be the beginning. I don't know... God, I hate this. Welcome to AT&T. Para Español, o Prima El Ocho. Yeah, 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 yeah. God bless it. Calls recorded for quality. <sighs> Are you calling about the account associated with the number 850? <sighs> this is going to drive me friggin' nuts now because I'm starting over. I don't, don't even... Yes. Oh, my God. Now I'm pissed. One second, please. Yeah. How can I help you today? Financial. Don't even know if I'm calling the right. Are you calling about your mobile phone? Yes. Oh, boy. I told myself I wasn't going to get pissed off, too. And this is how a 30-minute call turns into an hour and 30-minute call. Again, what if you guys have jobs? One moment while we connect you with a customer service professional. Yeah. Now I'm going to cut to the chase. Thank you for choosing AT&T. My name is Alonso. May I have your first and last name, please? Hi, Alonzo. My name is Peter Gisellis. I, I need to cut to the chase. I was on the phone already for over 30 minutes. I went from El Salvador to Minnesota, and I I, I need my balance looked into. I have a rema- They claim I have a remaining balance, and nobody can see into it, but I don't want to spend a bunch of time. I need to be sent up to financial or wherever the hell it is that they can access and break down what I owe them and for what reason. Please. Okay, definitely understand, Mr. Peter, the urgency. Just in order to access your account, may I have your passcode, please? Yes, sir. And just so you know, I'm also recording live for quality and assurance purposes as well. How's that? Okay. Cool. That is good. That is good, Mr. Peter. Thank you. Here's my passcode. It's... Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so in order to break down all the details from your bill, that will be with my colleagues in customer service, presented with a billing specialist, so they can break down all the details. Right. Okay, so you could yes, allow me just one brief second. Sure, because sure, the reason was make a note. there was a case. Uh-huh. There was a case that was opened on this because it was about a phone that was returned back in April. So that's whoever I need to speak to because they just resolved it, but yet they said I still owe eighty three dollars, and I'd like to know why from a, from a five hundred dollar okay. bill. Oh, completely understand. Yes, I see that there's a balance of $83 with 30 cents. Okay, no, no problem. Definitely I can transfer you with a billing specialist so they can break down all the details and as well on that case. Sure. And, okay, and, please wh- bring, and, and where am I calling uh-huh. to? Where am I calling to with you? Right now? Yes, sir. Orlando. Orlando, My name okay. is Al- Alonso. Al- Al- Alonso from Orlando. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Peter. Okay, please bring in the line. Just one quick second while I do the transfer with the billing especially. Thank you, sir. Just one moment. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. To fix it now, go to ATT. So now I'm on person number three. We went from El Salvador to Minnesota. TNC, my name is Jamaris. How may I help you? I'm sorry, what was your name again? Jamaris. Hey, Jamaris. My name is Peter, and I just want you to know I'm, co- I'm also recording live for quality and assurance purposes as well. I'm really hoping you can help me straighten this out and we can get done with it, and then I don't have to spend any more time on the phone. What do you need from me? Oh, right. Uh, is it right if I call you Peter for the duration phone call? Yes, sir. I, in fact, I insist. And what's your passcode? Okay, my passcode is... 
All right. So how may I help you, Peter? All right. I had returned a cell phone. I had gotten a cell phone plan back in April. The minute I got the phone, I realized that the gentleman oversold me. So they said, no problem. Just return the phone, and we will credit you back, and then we'll figure out and getting you a new plan or this and that. The phone was immediately put back in the same box, mailed back with your return shipping label. They received the phone months and months ago, but yet for five months I've been billed still with a balance of 500 and something dollars for that phone, which had gone into collections. I've finally, after starting four case numbers and countless phone calls because of mistakes being made, have finally gotten the bill as of today down from 400 and something dollars to $83. And I'd like to know what the $83 is for because I shouldn't owe any money whatsoever. Please. I'm terribly sorry that you had to go through that whole experience, but I will be. I'm pulling up your bill now, so I can go and see what that was about. Yep. I do see they gave you the credit of the four hundred and let me make sure double check that number four hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, that's what was the last one. It was five hundred and seventy eight, and little by little they keep taking money off. But it has gone almost five months, and there's a collection agency on my ass, and I want to make sure that they're going to be notified immediately. And I need an email in writing that I don't owe this money. I've asked for an email every every phone call, and nobody ever sends me an email. Right. Well, I'm gonna do everything I can, and if I'm gonna get you, if if I'm able to, I will send an email, and when we get done with this, I can send you to the collection department, so you can go and talk to them just in case, so you can go and let them know that I personally told you that it, it was done. If I'm you, just gonna look through it real quick, try to get that bill pulled up, look into it, and then let you know what's going on with it. Right. Them. If you put notes in there, I know that they can read your notes because they have read notes. Yes previously, and they're going, yep, here's a manager saying that you're going to be credited, but the problem has been, until they actually get the money, I still owe them money. And that's, you know, so I don't know. I've been credited before, and still owe them money. So I'm hoping we can get it to zero balance. All right, let me get this bill. Let me go and look at this yeah. bill real quick, and I got you. You got it. Thank you, brother. Okay, hey. let me get this bill. Where am I calling to? Where, where are you at? I'm in Central Arkansas. <laughs> okay. You know, I've gone from El Salvador to Minnesota to Orlando. Now we're back. I like Arkansas. I talk to Arkansas all the time, unfortunately. Uh, Arkansas. That calls all right. Me. I'm, going to get this bill. I'm trying to see what this $80 is for. Chill music. We'll go to the next bill. Resolution. I'm not just sitting here listening to music. We're just waiting for him to go through my notes and reacquaint himself with me. That's the problem when you start over again. I'm trying to get your other bill. Uh, Where's the music going to keep me calm? Otherwise, I won't. I mean, I put you on the I put you on the temporary hold if you would like. While I'm getting everything up, I'm still trying to find it right now. No, brother, I'm good. It may take a minute. I'm good. All right, I get. Uh, if we break up, I get a call back. Is this a phone number? I can call you back. Ending in zero one two five. 
uh, what number am I calling you from? Uh, no, I'm calling you from uh, my actual number. It's uh, all right. Yeah, okay. Put you, you on hold for now. If we break up, I'll call you back on that phone number. Right. You have that number, right? Yep. I have, the, I have your account up. It's showing your account. So yeah, I'll call you back. Okay, brother. Give me a moment. Yep. Don't be right here. Music, dining, events, entertainment benefits, and more. I wish that the other girl had my phone number because Nat and I wouldn't have had to start over again. That was a bitch. I mean, maybe we'll cut to the chase this time, but. Holy moly. Peter G. Show every Sunday night. Don't forget, when we get into the regular stuff, this is a special edition Peter G. Show. Peter G. calls AT&T again, again, and again. little quick refresher course. This is my eighth call to AT&T. Can't seem to get it right. We're getting closer, but it's wasting a lot of my time, which would some which would waste your time too. It had you had to do this, eight phone calls, about 15, 16 hours worth of phone time on the eight phone calls. Crazy, right? What if you work a job? How do you stay on the phone all this time? Very frustrating. I've been on the phones in my car. Had to take time out to go make a phone call. Gotten cut off, started over again. Don't like it. I want to finish this and get it over with. It's a beautiful day out in sunny California. I should be doing something. Plus, i got to pick my daughter up from school soon. That's what I look forward to, believe it or not. I hate even getting up in the morning having to take her to school. <laughs> But I, but I love seeing her, even when she's not with me. That few minutes I get with her starts my day off just right. When it comes to her, I've said it a million times, I'm a lucky man. So far, so good. One step at a time. Mm -mm -mm. Watch party, don't forget. Every time you're watching any of the shows, even when they're in reruns, just hit the share button. As you hit the share button, you scroll down and it says start a watch party. And then when you hit that start a watch party, another window comes up and it's the actual start the watch party button. Just do it. Share the shows with your friends. You don't know who you might be helping. I might just be bullshit entertainment to you. For some people, something we talk about might hit a, hit a, a soft spot or a sore spot and something they can relate to. That much I'm, I'm a, I just know because everybody can relate to the stuff we talk about. You're not the only one going through with issues and things like Making that. Mine just got a lot easier. I know. Introducing AT&T Secure Family. Our new app lets you take your family's safety to the next level. Know where your kids are, manage their screen time, and limit what they access online. Go to at I never listen to music like this when I'm on my own, but I like it on the show. It just smooths things out. Helps me feel better. This is Tida TV, Direct um, TV. Watch your favorite shows and movies live or on demand, at home or on the go, anytime, uh, anywhere. Talk to us about our premium entertainment offers. Because this stuff can get frustrating. Plus Direct TV for details. It really can. Imagine if this was you doing it, which you probably have done it in the past. What would you do? If you went five months, buy, or add a new device, five months on the phone, on and off, on trying to resolve an easy, simple return and credit issue, zero balance, purchase, return, confirm, zero balance, real simple, but no, half the time I think I'm just being screwed with. All right. Thank you for holding. That's all right. <laughs> Still there, Peter? Yeah, man, I'm here. All righty. So the reason why I finally got to figure out what was going on, so you already know that your bill was $533.29, right? It was more than that, but they credited me back the tax already. They already sent me a tax check back, I mean, months ago. So it was more, but then it went down to five, whatever you just said. I've lost track. Yeah, I've been looking at the final bill myself because it, it gave me some details. So the reason why is that. They just gave you the money for the device itself. You still had the service. You still had the services on. How long did you have your services with us? I well, it shows that you 
the number, the actual number we're talking about, has been a service since 1977. Okay, it was a landline. I wanted to take the landline to a cell phone, and that's when we just started having problems. The gentleman sold me. I said I just want to have the phone for a short period of time to decide whether I want to keep the number. And he says, "Nope, but I need a phone." He says, no problem, I'll get you a phone. And then he talked me in. He says, I'll get you an iPhone. How's that? I go, uh, all right, I mean, it's, I just need a phone. It doesn't matter. And I figured, okay, iPhone 6, maybe they're trying to get rid of them. They're blowing them out, whatever. I got the phone, and then I come out to find out after I get the phone, the day I received the phone, because I called you guys to activate it, that he sold me a 30-month plan. I didn't want a 30-month plan. So they said, send the phone back. I sent it immediately. You received the phone, and yet they kept billing me for the phone. Make sense? Yeah, but then I see. yeah, that makes sense. And then uh, that's when they gave you the credit. That's when they gave you the credit because when I had to look back the last bill, it was fast forward to the amount they had given you for the credit of four hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh huh. That's how much the remaining. That's how much the remaining balance was. So the eighty three dollars and thirty cents was pretty much just the service. Was just for the services. But I never had the service. This the service was for uh, about uh, a half a day. I activated the phone and then immediately killed the phone and sent it back to you guys. See, the, the, she, you know, she said, "Take the phone. You have to return the phone back because it's it, now." How long it took from the phone to get from the post office with the return label that you guys sent me to when they actually received it has nothing to do with me because I would have FedExed it if I had to. But they said, "Put it back in the box." There's a return label right there. Put it back in. So I wiped the phone back out. And then I put it in the box. I got a tracking number, and then I sent it to, to you guys. I've never had the service. I've not made a single phone call off of that, which you guys would have records on it. Uh, not a single phone call on it other than to you guys. And, and here's the deal. Even if I did owe you $83, which I don't, but the five months of having to go to a zero balance, I mean, this isn't that a little ridiculous? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, honestly, is am I not am I being kind of crazy that it's taken 5 months to get to this point? No, you're not crazy. It's understandable. You just want to get your money back. I never you had don't have to get worried about well, doing this payment because well, brother, you didn't have the service it, that long. It ain't any, it ain't even my money. I I put out no money other than the tax up front to get the phone, and they automatically turn already wrote me a check for that three months ago, four months. I don't even remember how long it's been. I've just lost track. But the thing is, they're saying that I owe. Five hundred dollars or four thirty nine or whatever. But the bottom line is, I sent the phone back. You got the phone back because it had to be returned within fourteen days. So obviously, it got returned because they everybody has admitted all eight phone calls and twenty four customer service representatives that I've talked to have admitted in the notes that I they got the phone and and I should be credited back the money, but they don't know why I haven't been credited back for all this hassle. I need to be at zero. I'm tired. I'm not getting paid to be on the phone like you. Actually, I'm losing money. I know you don't want to hear this, but uh, <laughs> somebody's got to. You know. What I'm oh, saying? No, I'm, I understand. I just I say voice. Go ahead, and voice your opinion. The voice everything you need to get it out now. Yeah. Because I'd rather you do it now with me on the line than possibly like a different, like a worse time. So with me, I'm just gonna. I'm I understand your frustration. So I just say go and let it out. Let it out now. No, but I've been letting I it could. out to every single one because it's just. It, I don't know. It just should have been done. If we had this issue, it should have been done and resolved within the first one or two phone calls back in May. I don't. Yeah, so that's why I'm trying to look. Yeah. That's why I'm looking into it. I see you didn't have. You only had the service with us not that long, so I, I'm trying to look. I'm gonna be looking through the notes about that because I, yeah, I tried to. It, I tried to stay with y'all. Okay, here's the thing. After she said, "Listen, send the phone back. Call us back. We'll figure out another plan to put you on and 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 figure it all out." I called right after I left the post office. I'm sitting in a parking lot for two hours. They're switching me from customer care to customer service to this to that. We never could get a. a I couldn't get a straight deal to get a. a I don't know. They made it so. Difficult. Difficult. I just lost my. I just said, forget it. I'll figure it out on my own. And I went and I took it to another service. I tried to stay with you guys. They just made it impossible. I don't know whether the people I had were incompetent. I don't get it. But I, I tried. 
It really did. So I just want. I just well, that's want, why you got me. I'm do. I'm doing everything in my power to go and see if I can get you get this uh, get you just get that credit for you and everything. Yes, sir. And maybe it might take some time, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do every bit of research I can possibly do. All right. That's fine. I'm right here. All right, and put you back on hold for a moment while right, I'm going to knock this out. All right. Make it as fast as possible. Ha- handle it. Thank Data you. May apply for app download and use. Holy moly. Now they say I got to, you know, I had this, I had their service. I didn't have their service. Well, I mean, I did have their service. I, technically, I did. But when you call immediately as soon as upon receiving the phone before the phone is being activated, and then you say, I don't want it, does that mean I have the service? Fix it now. Go to att.com slash support and sign into your account. Yeah, sure. Oh, boy. For those of you just tuning in, phone call, live phone call to AT&T number three. Just got a lot easier. Introducing but I've AT&T had eight phone calls into AT&T since the Are middle of May. Can't resolve a simple X-Ball. problem. We're getting closer, We're though. <coughs> We're getting closer. But why am I doing this, you might ask? I'm doing this because you guys have to do the same thing I'm doing, and maybe with less patience than mine, but I'm just putting it out there. It's like, look at the shit you got to go through to keep your name clear. It's not even like they have my money, but they threaten me with collections and dinging my credit. I'm not into that. I went through enough hell in my divorce, losing everything, to have to ding my credit now that I finally got myself back up to where, you know, I'm not almost to where I, I used to be. Meanwhile, here we are. And no, I'm not going to get over it. <clears throat> Ready to buy Maybe later. Device. Ask us about our best pricing on the latest smartphones. Or go to att.com slash wireless and see for yourself. Now I'm talking to Arkansas. For your upgrade thing. That's our thing. We went to El, Sal- El Salvador, spoke to Carlos, talked to Marquita in Minnesota. We talked to Alonzo in Orlando, and now I'm in Arkansas. We and and we might be getting closer to a resolve. AT&T Thanks gives you access to music, dining, I mean, they can go screw themselves for $83. I ain't having it. To download the AT&T Thanks app, text <clears throat> ATT Thanks to 8758, and we'll send you a link. A compatible device yeah. is required. Data charges may apply for app download and usage. Get the app and start enjoying your benefits today. Mm-mm-mm. Let's be honest. Every Sunday night, at your phone while driving. Peter G. Show Live, Life with Peter G. Talk about things that you want to talk about. And if you don't, then I'll talk about things I want to talk about. Don't forget, I also rerun all this stuff during the week. For those of you who don't catch it, you have an opportunity to. Plus, it's on demand. Everything's up on YouTube. Lots of stuff on YouTube. All past and previous shows. Not only from the Facebook Live. The Facebook Live shows have only been going on since January. We're on show number 32, believe it or not. Going on to show number 33 next week, next Sunday. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty, I don't know. I like what we do. I know there's people out there that like what we do. And I'm going to keep on doing it. I have a live phone number on Sunday nights. You can call in and talk to me. I don't need a lot of callers. I just need a couple. Talk about things that are bothering them that they may not talk about to somebody else. I mean, there's something they want to get off their chest. It's like, hi, I'm listening. You'd be surprised how many times people could say something thinking it's just them and their story, and it's a story that hits home to a lot of people. So I like sharing just that way. Anyway, the clock is ticking. Learn more at ATC.com slash security call protect. A compatible device is required. May apply for app download. See, the problem is all these AT&T people, they want to try to uh, acquaint themselves with my account. There's 40 pages of notes because when you've had that many phone calls and that many people hoping they're taking good notation, you that uh, they need to read the notes. And then again, I was told in the beginning that people did not leave adequate notes, and I get that too. I know that whole deal too. If you don't put in, if you don't put in the right notes, you don't you know describe things and tell what's going on. How do you expect somebody to, when they're following up to figure out what the hell is going on? 
I know a lot of people are guilty of that too. I, I try to stress it and ask them to put in, you know, good notes. But, you know, they can tell me whatever they want over the phone, and whether they do it or not is two different things. That's what sucks. AT&T, yeah, I'm taking AT&T to the next level, all right? They're taking me to the next level. Overload. All right, thank you so much for holding Peter. I did all my extensive. I did I do all the extensive. I was doing everything. I had to talk to my boss about it. Yeah. Um. So, since your, your account... I won't be able to give you, because normally in this type of situation, I'll be able to give you a little uh, credit for the account. But since your account is showing that it's canceled, it will not allow me to give you the credit for it. Well, somebody's got to be able to do it. So I'm, yeah, that's why I'm about to transfer you over to our collections department yeah. and let them know. Because I did put in the, I did put in the account on your note, customer called in to discuss his final bill of $83.30. Due to his account being canceled, that I cannot issue any credit. Please, uh, it shows that you have canceled your account within the within the fourteen day grace period. So when they see that, they'll be able to just see the notes like that again, and they'll just get you get that credit and be done with it. I would hope so. Okay, I mean, but I appreciate you putting uh, in notes because in the beginning, I guess people didn't put in enough notes. And how do you expect somebody who's following up to understand what's going on? Now I should have too many notes. Yeah, like I was reading through notes, uh, it, nothing really held water that much. That's why I did like that. Wow. Anyway, everybody promises me the world, and and, I, and then they hang up, and I get nothing. And that's why I'm five months down the road. You know, I, I'm not trying to get something for nothing, brother. I, I'm just trying to save my name here because they're threatening to ding my credit over over this. So, all right, transfer me. Yeah, over. I understand. Yeah, put me in the transfer. I'm about to be over. Well, I do, I do, I really do. Life is. If I had, a, if I was working right now, I'd, again, I'd be having to take off from work to stay on the phone. You know, for for an hour and a half again. It's hard. So, all right. What are you going to do with me now? I'm about to transfer over to our collection department. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, and uh, I'm hoping I don't have to bother no, you. No, bro. Again. I just, I'm hoping. I'm more hoping that all this gets resolved for you on your behalf. For you, you, know, you can be happy with AT and T again. Have to have this type of stupid, bad situation again. All right. Yes, sir. I appreciate that's you. Th- that's more than I'm striving for than anything so i got you i'm going to transfer you now thank you so much to the at&t hope you enjoy the rest of your day you have a great day too see you later see ya search for my at&t well he was real nice but his hands are tied and he tried so let's see what happens we'll go for caller customer service number five collections Thank you for choosing AT and T. My name is Ivan. May I please have your first and last name? Hi. What was your name again? I'm sorry. Ivan. I V A. Oh, oh, hi, Ivan. Okay, my name is Peter Gisellis, and just so you know, I'm also recording the call live for quality and assurance purposes. I'm hoping that with your phone call, this is going to be the last phone call I have to make, and we will resolve this issue, and I can leave uh, and get back to my life. But um, tell me what you need so you can look into my case. I'll be more than happy to assist you today, sir. I may please have your phone number. Sure. It is uh, area code. Thank you very much. I'll repeat. 850-456-75. Yes, sir. Where am I calling to today? This would be, a, well, we're in the southwestern region of the state, so I can't tell you for security purposes, the direct state, but <laughs> southwestern region. All right. Only reason I ask is I, I find yeah. it interesting. I've been already to El Salvador, Minnesota, Arkansas, Orlando, and I just was wondering, you know, where, you know, it's, it's amazing how we can handle these things from so yeah, many different okay. parts. Uh, may I have the passcode on your account so I can access the account? Sure. It's... Thank you very much. Yeah, great. So, uh, loading up your account, sir. I see that there's a balance of eighty-three dollars and thirty cents. Would you like to make a payment today? No, sir. I would not. Here's here's the here's the reason. I <laughs> for, sure, the, for the four hundredth time. I have. I got a phone plan. I was taking a phone number from a landline. I wanted to put it on a cell phone. 
I told the gentleman I only wanted to monitor that phone possibly for about six months. If I change my mind, I will extend it and call back. I wanted something cheap and easy, but I do need a phone to go with it. I don't care if it's a flip phone. He says, no problem, sir. Here's what we'll do. He says, I'll even get you an iPhone. How's that? And I'm thinking, I don't need it, but you know what? iPhone would be great. He got me an iPhone 6. I figured maybe they're blowing them out because they're old. No big deal. I, upon receiving the phone here in Los Angeles, I had trouble activating the phone. So I called you guys up immediately when I received the phone to activate it. While she's walking me through that, I said, let's go over the plan one more time just so I make sure that we have clarity. She proceeded to tell me that I'd be charged $15 a month, but $15 a month would be subtracted from the bill for the full 30 months of the plan. The minute I heard 30 months, I said, wait a minute, that's not what I asked for. I was very specific. So I got wronged. She says, well, that's what your plan is, and if you want this phone, that's what it's going to be. I said, I don't want that. She says, okay, sir, no problem. If you return the phone within 14 days, we will, you, you'll, you'll get credited for the phone, and we, you won't have this plan. Call back, and then we'll figure out a new plan for you. That's what happened back in April. So they finally, as of today, removed the phone. They've been charging me. They had the phone since April. I've been going round and round. This is phone call number eight. 15 hours of phone calls that for a phone that they clearly admit they have, but I've not had a, ba a balance to zero to k kill my account. And now I'm down to $83, and I'd like to know why I have an $83 bill. Does that make sense? Let me go ahead and check on that. Because I immediately told her, she says, that's fine, Peter, wipe out the phone and send it directly back to me. I hung up the phone. I never even made a phone call on that phone other than to AT&T. Well, yeah, definitely. I'm looking at all the information on here. Sir. Sure, I just want a zero balance. I mean, I've done no, I've done everything I was required to do and that I was allowed to do, and and that's all. And now for five months, they put me in collections over a phone that they had received months ago, and re and for some crazy reason, telling me I owe them money. And now we finally got it down to this amount, and I want to know why I owe this amount, which I don't, and we need to wipe that out too, please. Nobody should have to go through this. It's a simple return and credit, zero balance, simple. No, definitely, I agree with you on that, sir. It, since you did return the, the phone within the 14-day grace period on there, and especially now since it, there wasn't any use, uh, they should go ahead and give you that credit since the account was not used whatsoever. Exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, well, in this case, your call got routed over to me here at the well at the collections department, as you were you were saying you got sent to. So uh, for that, uh, I do apologize. It's and okay. It's not your fault. That, go ahead and place that credit would be our customer service department. If I was, if I had the tools to go ahead and credit oh that God. to you, I would definitely go ahead and do so because I I do see that you're right on there. I mean, if you never used it, and they never set the proper expectations on there. I mean, fi five months, Ivan. F five months. I mean, let's let's say, and which I didn't right. use it. Let's say I did even use it. Wouldn't you think for a company to make to save face? To say, okay, you know what, we'll waive it because it took five months, which should have taken two weeks to change over to give you a zero balance. Even if I owed the money, I should have been told I owed $83, to, you know, a month and a half into it. Not five months turned me into collections into it. But I don't owe it. But the thing is, Definitely. even I mean, a lot of times you have to do something in business to make things right. And even if maybe it was a startup fee or whatever, they need to go away. It just needs to go away. I definitely agree with you, sir. But, so, uh, on here, you know, if it was uh, up to me to place that credit, I'd definitely just go ahead and wipe your account. And is that what I you're going to do? You're telling me it's on the notes, and it, it, on my end at the collections department, I, I can't do so because well, it's a different department. I don't have the tools in order to credit your account. Oh, my God. Uh, I take payments, I restore service, and stuff like that. Then, why did he send uh, me to you? That's why I was telling you, I really do not know uh, why it misshotted you over to me when you have to speak to our customer service department. He said, the person that I was talking to was customer service. I, I'm almost pretty sure, and he said he can't do it. He didn't have the ability. That's why he sent me to you. 
he sent you over to the Collections Department? Yes, sir, to, to, to dispute this bill. He said he didn't have the ability to do it. Well, let me go ahead and um, go send that person a message right now. We can go ahead and get this straightened sure. out. Sure. I'm right here. Would you mind if I put you on hold? For no, about please. Let's 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 knock it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be right back with you. Okay. Now I'm starting to get weary. I better listen to some more chill music. Unfriggin' believable. It's pretty good stuff, though. No. just smooth not too much not too little nothing fancy about it just kind of glides until they come back on the phone and get my high, my blood pressure up again this shit drives me nuts I want it over with I do not want to have another special edition Peter G. Calls AT&T call. I don't. And I want an email stating that I don't owe them any money. Today. My luck, I'm going to get cut off again. You watch. Shit drives me nuts. I don't ask for this stuff. I really don't. Yes, thank you. Whoever gave a thumbs up. Just shouldn't be. Should not be. In the meantime, I hope you guys appreciate this somewhat. Start a watch party. Hit the share button. It says start a watch party. Then scroll down. Hit the start a watch party button. Then it's going to ask you to hit another start start the watch party button. I know. Crazy, right? And then you're sharing it with everybody saying, hey, so-and-so is watching this. Hey, why is she watching this? Why is he watching this? Must be something. Damn sure ain't in a joke-telling mood today. Speaking of jokes, I went into the bank and uh, I needed to get some money out. And uh, thank you very much for holding, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. To be nice. continued. One quick question. Sure. Are you currently live streaming me? Am I currently what? Uh, are you live streaming? Because I heard you were talking about sharing. Yes, sharing and is never caring. Authorized for you to go ahead and never authorized for you to live stream my. Well, I told you, that, you. I actually said you, said you were you recorded it, I, not sharing. No, no, I said you. I said live. I, I, I'm also recording it. Of course, it's recording it. It's live uh, uh, and and recording live for sharing. Uh, you never told me it was live. You said you were recording it for quality purposes. I, I can computer. play. I can play it back to you. I no, said. Let me go ahead and forward you over to our customer service department. Sure. You can speak about the credit with them. Sir. Sure. Said I'm record. I'm stream. Okay, I'm thank you very much for choosing AT and T. My name is Ivan. Please follow me. Okay, Ivan. Thank okay, you. Same thing. You want to show it? He's got me all tongue tied. It's like I'm, I'm recording live for quality assurance purposes. Recording live. My name is Ashley. How may I help you today? Hi, Ashley. My name is Peter, and just so you know, I'm recording live for quality and assurance purposes as well because I'm just tired and I want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, great. Thank you. Listen, I, I've this is uh, this is uh, representative number six, I believe, for this morning. I'm I'm just trying to get a zero balance on my account, and uh, and and I just keep getting you know we've we've reduced it, but they can't get it to zero, and and the, the, you know I just got it through with collections, and now they sent me to you saying because he said he couldn't do it, he understands my problem totally, and everybody's in agreement with me, but yet I just can't get to see to get it to zero and get an email stating that I have a zero balance. I'm hoping you can help me. How's that? Okay, um, have you been to cancellations yet? Uh, I don't know what cancellations means. Um, it shows that your account is canceled, and Ye yes, I, I, ca I couldn't personally do anything about the balance on your account. That's what the last, I tried to tell him that. The cancellation department probably could. Oh, my God. 
Okay, so we're going to go to number seven. Well, I, I don't, yeah, that's fine. The, the, here's real quick. I got a phone from you guys, cell phone. I, I got it. I, it was the wrong plan. I returned it within the 14 days. Actually, I returned it within the second day. They got the phone back in April. They have never credited me the money back. They kept saying I owed them for a phone, even though they admit that they have the phone. And this has been eight phone calls ongoing over five months, and they turned me into collections. I'm down to finally down to $83 left. They finally cleared me for the phone, but for some reason, there's 83 dollars left and i just need to be at zero balance who can do this for me our cancellation department okay ashley i'm gonna have to, i don't have a much of a choice but somebody's got to do this i'm just tired it's uh, 16 hours on the phone over these five months yes sir, i completely understand and i'm sorry for any inconvenience that's, that that's, you've had with not, AT&T. it's not your fault believe me but it you know it's somebody's simple transaction but please get me to somebody so i can do this please all right, yes, sir, I got you. Just give me one second. I'll go ahead and get you transferred over to our um, cancellations department. Sure. So Ivan got nervous once he heard the word streaming. What's the difference between live and streaming? We appreciate your call. I mean, really? I, so I didn't say streaming live. I said you're being recorded live. Your phone while driving. We've all had that urge to check a score, map a self. The hell's the difference? It's not like I'm showing his face. And he seemed pretty nice. Was he hiding something? See, this is the problem. Ivan got all nervous. He says, I'm out of here. Mm, mm, mm. So we went to Ashley. So how many people are we at now? How many callers? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going on to our seventh person. Five. We're going to go on to representative number seven. Right. Just go to app. You need a compatible device to oh, man. Thank everybody yeah, for sticking it out. You don't have to, but you know what I mean? This could be you on the phone doing what I'm doing. All I know is I'm thankful I have the time right now to do this because I, I know what a bitch this is. If I didn't have the time to do this, I'd be really, really jacked up pissed. I don't want to do it in the first place, but thank God I'm not having to watch a clock going, I got to get back to work. But it is killing time in my life, and that you know, time is time is everything. I can't get it back. I can't believe how uh, Ivan changed his tune once he found out. Hello, hello. Okay. Thought maybe they got on the line again. Yeah, well, Ivan, once you heard live being recorded, live streaming. I don't know what the difference is. You're, recorded, you're being recorded live. It's all the same. Live is live. That's what it says right there on the screen. Live. Trying to get to the bottom of this. I want the whole world to know. But see, he was doing nothing wrong. It wasn't his fault. Had nothing to do with him. All he had to do is give me the right information. Right. Like, oh, Peter, there's Peter again doing his stupid shit again. This is not stupid shit. This is real life. That's why I'm doing it. I like stupid shit, though. <laughs> I do. I'd rather be laughing, you know? Or on the go, anytime, anywhere. I'd rather be laughing. Talk to us about our premium entertainment offers or go to att.com slash direct TV for details. Come on, I just want to get this over with. I really do. I'd like to thank the few of you that are hanging. Again, this stuff will all go into regurgitation. Replays. You can listen to it on demand. Watch it 
All my stuff very, very soon will be going back up to my iTunes podcast again. I regret that I have taken the last seven months and neglected it because of some change that was going on. But this stuff is great to be listening to in the car. I mean, it's just easy. You don't have to see my face. You know, I'm not doing cartwheels or we don't have dancers or nothing like that. But I kind of like the visual, too. I think it, you know, I like it. But it's great podcast stuff, and it's all going to be going back up there. Oh, here we go. Yay. Thank you for calling My name is Nate. I'm sorry, what is your name? It's a little bit foggy. My name is Nate. Who got the pleasure of speaking with? Hi, my name is Peter, and I, I just want to let you know real quick that I am recording live for quality and assurance purposes, just as you guys are. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. I'm hoping you can help me. We're almost done here. This has been an ongoing five month issue. I got a cell phone. It was the wrong kind of plan with the phone. It wasn't what I asked for. I called up immediately when I was activating the phone, and we found out that I got sold. It wasn't happening. So she said, no problem, sir. Just send the phone back, and we'll clear the whole thing, and you can start over again. I sent the phone back. The day I got the phone back in April, within the two-week period time, I was allowed to return the phone, and just now are we settling this issue. They've been billing me for five months and turned me into collections. Now I'm finally down to an $83 balance from a 500 and something dollar balance that they can't tell me what the $83 is for. I need somebody to tell me what it's for and to wipe it out. I should have a zero balance. There's no reason for me. I never use the phone or the service. Think you can help me? Yes, sir. I understand your, um, your frustration. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not in the right department that can help you with your wireless phone or problems. I can't help you with this problem it's that you're having it, right now. It's, it's the bill. I, can't it, I no longer have the service. I canceled the account. Yes, sir. But I, I got to zero the bill out. Who the hell do I talk to to zero the bill out? This is the third person who says who I've gotten sent to, and they can't help me. I understand. Yeah, what I'm about to do is I'm about to um, I'm about to transfer you to our customer customer loyalty department in COG. They don't want to deal with cancellations. And they want to deal with people about frustrations when it comes down to the last point, which is kind of like your problem with that. And when I transfer you over there, you get in contact with somebody. Tell them exactly everything you told me. And then, honestly, I don't know if they're going to be able to wipe off your bill. I don't know what they're going to be able to do, but just tell them the same problem you're having, or you should at least be credited that that you've been charged. Well, I mean, how would you know if you can't see what I'm doing? I mean, I can't, but I'm just going off of what you're telling me, oh, okay. and I, I feel like they're going to work with you. I'm just telling that, you, like, when I transfer you over there, you tell them, like, hey, that's exactly everything you told me. Okay. Well, then, then all I'm asking is that somehow or another we get to somebody who can actually give me a yes or a no, because the I don't know is just driving me crazy. I've been on this phone for since middle of May. This is my eighth phone call to you guys, and every phone call is anywhere from 40 minutes to two hours and 40 minutes. You are now my seventh person I spoke to just on this phone conversation alone. You know what I'm saying? What if I had to work? I mean, you're getting paid to talk. You're getting paid to be nice to me. I, I'm, I'm losing money. I'm just sitting here on the phones trying to do a simple transaction. Return, zero balance. You buy something from the store. It wasn't what I wanted. There's a policy. I stayed within the policy because it was a big mistake, But I and I returned it. They completely agreed with me, and yet they won't zero balance me out. And I'm here five months later still doing the same thing. How? I mean, it's simple math. We're dealing with the same issue. I understand. I understand. I understand your it ain't, it ain't you, bro. It's not you. But the thing is, seven people I've been passed around to now, this ain't making y'all's company look that good. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, give me one second. I'm going to get you to the right people. Okay. The right that can help you. Go for it. Okay, give me one moment. Thanks, brother. Number eight. I'm a patient man. But sometimes.
listen to some chill music again. Don't forget every Sunday night, I'll be back in my regular mode. Right now, I'm not really having it. I don't know if they're... I don't know if they're jerking me around right now because they know I'm recording them live and they said just keep passing them around till he piss till he, you know that's not good for them. We'll see. We'll see cuz I'll keep calling. Ever since Ivan pissed his pants when he heard he was being heard streaming live, which really isn't what's the big deal. He was in total assurance his answers were correct. He didn't do nothing wrong. He's just doing his job. But uh, I'm more about the whole big picture with AT&T because these people are only just puppets doing what they're supposed to do. But, you know, what they're supposed to do is help me get my balance back to zero. I'm on customer service representative getting ready to go to number eight on this phone call. Eight. But we're getting closer. It's down to 83 bucks. Went from 400 and something down to 83. It needs to be zero. A compatible device is required. Data charges may apply for apps if they keep passing me around, it's only going to make them look bad. Oh, boy. Welcome to at and So they just restarted me. They restarted me. I don't think I can do this anymore. All recorded for quality. Please tell me your phone or account number. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. He's sending me back to fucking, oops, to customer service again. I mean, I'm starting from the beginning again. You can't, you can't do this. It doesn't matter. It's gonna, I'll just do another show on Monday. I won't do any more. It's just making them look worse. worse. One moment while we pull up your account information. Sure. <coughs> Nothing better to do on a beautiful sunny afternoon. The chill music isn't even going to help. Uh, uh. How can I help you today? Billing dispute. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm sorry, but I picked up some background noise. How can I help you today? Billing dispute. Are you calling about your mobile phone? Yes. They know what the hell I'm calling for. They know exactly what I'm calling for. Now it's You're like, getting a lot of calls right now, so you may be on hold a while. I Did don't, you know that you can quickly complete most transactions online? Go to att.com or continue holding to speak to a representative. I'm going to hold. To your patient. I'm going to hold. We're going to go one more person. If not, I'll just... It'll be another phone call. Doesn't make them look any better. Because you know I'm going to bitch about on Sunday, too. I mean, just verbally. You know, and, and I, it's hard to get mad at the people. One moment while we connect you with a customer service professional. There you go. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time hearing you. What was your name again, please? Uh, my name is Bria. Hi, Bria. My name is Peter, and I just want you to know real quick that uh, for quality assurance and all that, I'm recording live for, for myself, too, because I've been on doing this for f almost four and a half months trying to get my, my problem solved. Is that okay? Hello? Uh, can, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you good now. Did you hear me? Okay. No, I'm sorry. Can you repeat what you said? Yes. I just wanted to know that as you guys do, I am also recording you guys live for quality assurance uh, uh, purposes as well. Is that okay? Um, 
I mean, I don't know if it's okay for you to report our conversation. Hold on one second. Well, we'll it's okay for you guys okay. to. Re I know, but I've been doing this for four months. Nobody's ever said no. The problem is, you guys record me, and I can't seem to get a confirmation email or anything. So that's why I'm having to do this. It's really not a problem, and if you're doing everything correct, right? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm, yeah. There's no problem. You uh, can you can go ahead and record. The call. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so here's the uh, deal. Hey, uh, what can I? What, you go. You lead. What can I do to let's solve my problem? Hello. Okay. What do you need for me? So we. How okay. Do, uh, can I start by getting your phone number? Sure. The phone number we're you know, discussing is uh, area code. All right, thank you. Who am I speaking with? You're speaking to Peter Gisellus. Call me Peter. Okay, thank you, Peter. And the passcode. Sure, it's... All right, thank you. Okay, and um, what, what issues are you having today that I can help you out with? In April, I received... I, I called to get a... to take a landline to a cell phone. I talked to the gentleman. I told him I only wanted a plan for a short period of time, and I was going to need a phone as well because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep the number or not. I would decide after the first six months. The gentleman says, no problem. I'll get you a phone. In fact, I'll even get you an iPhone 6. How's that? I said, okay, who cares? I just want to make sure that I get a short-term plan. There's not going to be any strings, and if I decide to keep it, I will gladly keep it, but for right now, that's where I'm at. I get the phone. I couldn't. I had a hard time activating it. I call AT and T immediately when I get the phone to help me walk through the process. While walking through the process, I asked the woman on AT and T, "Hey, let's just go over my plan again." She's proceeded to tell me that the plan was a thirty-month plan. I immediately said, stop right there. I did not ask for a 30-month plan. The gentleman, I was very specific, I did not want a long-term plan. She said, well, that's not a problem, but that phone that you have, to, in order to keep that phone and not be charged for it, you have to fulfill a 30-month plan. I said, the phone's not important to me. I asked him, I said, I would take a flip phone, but he offered me the, the, the iPhone. So she says, no problem. Put the phone back in the box, use the return label, return it immediately within the 14-day period, which were on day number one that I received the phone, and I immediately mailed it back. I got a tracking number. The phone was received by you people many, many months ago. It's been confirmed that you have the phone, yet here we are five months down the road. I've been turned into collections from May because they never credited me back the money for the phone. We are almost there now. After five months and... Eight phone calls and 43 customer service representatives. I'm almost at zero balance, but there's an $83 balance now as of today that I don't know why I should owe $83, and I'd like to know what that's for, and I'd like it wiped down to zero because I have not used the service. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I definitely understand. There's a, um, there's a million... Yeah, there's a million miles of notes. I mean, I hate having to put you through it. It's not your fault, but we need to finish it today. Please. Okay, gotcha. All right, just give me one second, okay? Take two. Uh, okay, thank you. Unbelievable. Everybody's starting to get a little bit nervous now. I don't get it. just want to end this. I've been on this call since I got hung up on for almost an hour now. Plus the other call, which was about another... We're going into another two-hour period. It's crazy. All right, I do apologize for that whole. So I did go ahead and discuss um, 
discuss that with my supervisor, and she was able to go ahead. She said that she would go ahead and apply the credit um, for the last eighty-three dollars and thirty cents on the account. So we are going to have a zero balance. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, it, it may take um, up to twenty-four hours for you to see that, um, but it. Uh, the credit is going to be applied. Okay. Well, here's the thing that I really, really need from you now. If you really want to score points, I'll send you flowers if you make this happen because everybody has promised me this and not sent one little thing. I need, you guys have my email. I need an email right now stating that I don't owe you any money because the problem I had was back in May when I was fighting this, they were the collection agency was saying you have till September to resolve this. Otherwise, you're going to get your credit dinged. I am now only days away from September, and whether it's one dollar or ten million dollars, dinging my credit is dinging my credit. I would like because you don't know how many times I've had a representative say, "Peter, it might take a billing cycle, but your balance is going to be zero." So I sit back for a month, and all of a sudden, I'm getting phone calls from the collection agency again because nothing ever happened. So is there? I need you to please, please send me an email right now stating that we don't have a balance. I don't need it to clear from, you know, it can clear officially any way it wants, but I just need it from somebody there to tell me I don't owe you any money. Please. Okay, let just, me see if it will give me the option to just, just because they every month, I mean, every phone call, they ask me for my email address to send me something, and nobody does, and that really kind of bugs me. Because why offer something and not do it? I mean, they've, uh, there's no harm here. There's no bad thing. It's been a really bad mistake, but by not doing something more, it doesn't make you guys look that great. Then they can't understand why I'm upset, and I'm not that upset. I'm sure you've heard way worse than me. I'm just wasting time in my life on the phone again. Just a simple email is all I'm asking for. And then I will let it play itself out. Okay, do you mind to push one of your phones? No, please. All right, thank you. Thank you. Holy crap. Now I'm trying to get them to send me a confirmation email. This is going to be another science project. All right. So it doesn't look like I'm able to send you the email, but you will receive a final bill. Um, <laughs> can we see that was zero? Yeah, but how long is it going to take for that bill to get here? That's the problem I'm having. I, I, I don't have an account with you guys anymore because, again, I tried everything in my power to stay with you, but they did everything they could to make sure that I couldn't stay with you. And now I'm not going to see a bill till who knows when, and I'm counting on your word, which please don't take offense to this, but I've talked to many people that sounded so awesome, and yet nothing got done until I got told by the collection agency again. And now I'm too close to down to the wire. There's got to be some way to generate something to tell me that I owe them nothing. And I, pl and I need you to please, please, please put some explicit notes in there because I'm going to call the collection agency as soon as I get off the phone here and they see your notes because you guys are in cahoots together. So they should be able to read those notes, although two months ago they read that I was being credited and shouldn't have a balance either. But they said until they get paid, I owe them money. Okay. I don't want to owe them uh, money. It looks like your bill um, is issued on the 14th of every month. Yeah. Um, so you should be getting that final bill on the fourteenth of September. Okay. So let let's let's so you can, let, let, let's reiterate. I am going to have a zero balance. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. I will owe nothing. It's going to say zero. Peter owes no money to AT and T. Correct. Correct. Okay. 
And I, I, I would love to, I mean, I, if you only knew how many times I heard this already, and it's not your fault, but I'm just, you kind of lose faith. Because I've been sent around to five different people today, and all of a sudden you were able to fix this, and these other five people could not fix it. I don't understand how. What department are you in? Oh. I'm sorry? I'm in um, sales service. You're in what service? Uh, I am in sales. I am customer service. Customer service. I, Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. It's kind of garbly, though. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I've been to four customer services, okay. and they told me sorry. they could not fix it. And all of a sudden, you can fix it. I wish they could have fixed it four four people ago. They were nice people, too. Yeah. Yeah, well, my manager, um, she's, she's kind of the best, so okay. she just said she'd go ahead and apply the credit to right. the account. Yeah, it's just... Um, but we just aren't able to send you an email, but you will still, like I said, you still, we will receive the final bill. And, um, it looks like they issue it on the 14th of every month. Okay, so I'll receive a final bill, and the bill will say... Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry, what was that? I said, so I will receive a bill and the Hello? bill... Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. I will receive a bill and the bill will say what? It'll say, it'll show um, balance due and it'll say zero dollars. Okay, I'm going to take your word for it, please. And I know, again, so and, and, and your manager's word and everybody's word. So, I, yeah, I mean, it's just easier to... to, to Get rid of me, and I mean, I'm not did nothing wrong. I'm just tired. All right, is there anything else we need to do? Then please make good notation notes because if I end up right. having to call again, they're going to rely on your notes, and and that was the problem. A lot of people say they're going to put stuff in there, and they don't, and it's I just too long. Five months. How would you feel if you were in my shoes? Five months on a simple product received, product returned, credit balance, you know, should be at zero five months ago. Simple. You go to the store, you buy a pair of shoes, you know, they're the wrong kind of shoes, you bring them back, that's their policy, they say no problem, and, and what? And, and you're, you should be at zero again. You're back to where you started. Simple, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, listen, uh, it's not you, it's just number eight. You were caller, you were per representative number eight in this almost two-hour uh, fiasco of just this call alone. So I'm hoping you are my lucky number eight, okay? Okay. You're, you're totally fine. I'm just glad that you were able to get me, and I was able to take care of you. All right. You. I am too. So you have a nice... Uh, do you have any other questions or assistance that I can help you out with? No, today? no, ma'am. If you are the one who resolves all this, I'll never forget you, Okay. I mean, because that's it's. I I don't know how it was so difficult, but right, but if you did it, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. How's that? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day, Peter. Thank you. Thank and you. Thank you for calling in. You have a great day. Bye bye. All right. You're welcome. Bye bye. All right, so Bree, and I, you know, everybody's like, get their ID numbers, get their names, get their full names, get their last names. They get a little bit weary. You saw Ivan. Ivan took, pissed his pants all of a sudden when he figured out that I'm recording him, which, what's the big deal, right? You're not doing nothing wrong. Ivan got all squirrely with me, and he, well, he couldn't wait to dump me. Then I went from Ivan to Ashley to, to another brother to Bree. And before that, it was Carlos... Marquita, Alonzo, shit. How many you got to go through? All right, that's it, folks. You heard it. I'm wrapping this up. I'm friggin' tired. I got shit now. You know, if I wasn't an alcoholic, shit like this will easily make you one, okay? Just kidding. By the way, I went to the bank to get some money out. And uh, <laughs> when I went to the bank and the woman said, uh, yes, sir, uh, what is it I can do for you? I said, hey, I need to uh, take some money out. And I gave her the, uh, the you know, the, the check. And she comes back and she says, uh, sir, I'm, uh, uh, and I was kind of in a pissy mood. And she says, sir, I'm sorry, but uh, you're overdrawn. And I, I looked up at her and I said, so are your eyebrows, but you, you know, but yet we're both still here. <laughs> anyway, listen, I know, dumb joke. I'm done. This should be the last call that I'm making to AT&T. I will talk about the resolve, but I'm not making any more calls unless they didn't really resolve the, the whole deal. This is phone call number eight. 
live phone call number three. This one's almost two hours long, and I'm sorry, people. You know, I don't have a a, a crew of editors that the minute we finish, I'm not the TMZ. We don't hand over this tape, and they start editing, chopping, and getting all the highlights. I'm letting you hear this whole thing from the beginning to end because it's it's excruciating. Okay, the agony of having to stay on the phone, especially if you're somebody who had to work for a living, you'd never even be able to do this during your lunch hour if you even had a lunch hour. Most people don't. You get 30 minutes, a break, or you got to wait till you get home and it's late and then you got to deal with the nighttime customer representatives who don't have as much power as the daytime customer representatives. All that bullshit. It's just too much. Too much. <sighs> but I'll talk about it later. And I'm praying. I'm praying these son of a guns because something kind of made, feel, made me feel weird that they're all sending notes to each other going, hey, this guy's recording you guys. It's like, so what? Got something to hide? AT&T? And if they're jerking me around, and then they finally say, well, he's not giving up, and okay, just credit him the money, get rid of him, I'm okay with that. I really am. They're in the wrong, and anyway, I don't care. It's like, whatever it takes, give me, because uh, I'm not giving up. I'm freaking like a pit bull right now. It's just principle. I told you, it's not even about the money, it's principle. All right, I am Peter G. This is a special edition Peter G show. Peter G calls AT&T with chill music. Uh, I shouldn't be having to do this on an afternoon extra show, but I've done. This is my third one now because this is friggin' ridiculous, all right? I know it happens to you people out there, and that's why I'm doing it. Share the show. Hit the share button. When you hit the share button, it says start a watch party. Hit the start a watch party button, and then it says really start the watch party, and then hit the red button and start it. Share it with your friends. Share my Sunday night shows. Share, share, share. The only way something's going to happen is if you guys give a shit enough to share this stuff with the people you know. Because I promise you that the problem I'm having here just with AT&T is so relatable. Everybody's been there, done that. But this is friggin' ridiculous. It's beyond the call of duty. I should not have to spend 16 hours on a phone over the past four months re talking about something I shouldn't have to talk about. Should have been done. Simple transaction. Return credit. Did you get a phone from AT&T, Peter? Yes. Did, uh, were you happy with the AT&T phone you got? No. Did you return the AT&T phone within the allotted time period? Yes. Did they receive the phone within the allotted? Yes. Did they credit you for the phone? No. Why not? Five months down the road. But we're going to charge you for it anyway. Even though we know we have the phone, we're going to charge you for it. I'm starting to repeat myself, but I'm just pissed. All right. I love you guys more than anything. We're going to call it a day. I think it's time to go. I want to go cool down. Uh, talk to me during the week. Send me texts. Send me messages. Don't forget the Sunday night show. That's more important than anything. Life of Peter G on Sunday nights. Call in. That's when I'm in full gear. I know it's a little bit late for some of y'all, but it's all good. You know, a lot of people stay up late. We're growing, and it's all because of you guys. So I love you guys. Don't take no shit from nobody. If you got a problem, you call me, and we talk about it. Lots of people can relate to your problem. You're not alone. I'm here for you, okay? Peace. I'll talk to you soon. Actually, I'll talk to you Sunday night, and that's uh, right around the corner. Today's Thursday. Talk to you in a couple of days. Peace out. Show. Divorce dad, single dad, divorce dad.